going to be like a travel with me vlog me going on my first solo trip because I've never actually been on a solo trip so I have like gone places by myself but never somewhere where I wasn't like meeting someone like when I will like drive to go visit my mom in Texas like obviously when I get there like I have my mom or like when I've driven up here to Missouri before, my friend, like I was staying with my friend, but my friend's getting married this weekend. So I'm here by myself because obviously she is very much busy. And so I'm just going to be spending this weekend by myself until it's time to go to her wedding. And so I just figured I would vlog my experience on my first ever real solo trip or what i quantify as a real solo trip today is thursday and i got in this morning i had a really early flight my flight left at 5 35 a.m and flew to atlanta and then from atlanta to st louis and now i am in st louis and i have been here since like 10 a.m it's currently 3 p.m and I am now in my hotel room and I'm probably about to take a nap because honestly, like I am so tired. But after I got here, after I got off the flight, like after I got off the plane, I went and got my rental car. And then from the rental car place, I went to go find some food. So I went and got like brunch at IHOP, which we have IHOPs in my hometown, but I don't know. I just was really craving an IHOP pancake. And honestly, if there would have been a Waffle House, I don't think there's Waffle Houses up here, but if there would have been a Waffle House, I probably would have gone there. But um, went and got brunch at IHOP. It was delicious. And then I thought I couldn't check into my hotel until four o'clock, but they did allow me to do early check-in. So I was trying to like kill some time. It was raining. So like the plans that I had made of things that I wanted to do when I got here, like fell through because it was raining obviously and now like it's not raining anymore so maybe i'll still get out and do something today but honestly i'm so tired from like traveling so once i finished eating i needed to find something to do that i could do while it was raining so i went to barnes and noble and sat and read for a little bit i'm currently reading wrecked by lauren asher i'm about like 70 percent into that like i'm close to being done and i was hoping that i was going to finish it either like on the plane or sometime in my downtime while i've been here but i also bought wildfire to read by hannah grace as well and then obviously my kindle i'm reading wrecked on my kindle at the moment but i sat in barnes and noble and read i didn't buy anything because i was like i only have carry on and my purse so I can't be buying a whole bunch of books and like weighing that down because then I have to then check my carry-on and then that would just be like something I'm not trying to do and uh, so I sat in Barnes and Noble for a little bit did some reading browsed looked around and I was like okay I need to see if I can check in my hotel early because I'm so tired like I need to go to bed and take a nap or something and so I then after Barnes and Noble went to Chick-fil-a and got a little snacky snack I got like a five count nugget because I like wasn't hungry but I was but anyway so I got a five count nugget and then I was really craving a milkshake so I got a small vanilla milkshake as well so that was like my snack and now I'm just waiting for dinner I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do for dinner here in a few hours but I think for now I am going to take a nap because I am really tired from waking up at 4 30 or having to get to the airport at 4 30 to get on my flight at 5 30 so yeah, that is like it for right now. I, like I said, I don't really know what I'm about to get into, but I figured I would vlog my time during this 
first solo trip and just hopefully have a good time. I really like watching these videos on YouTube. So it's always interesting to see what people can get up to and do alone in a place that like they aren't usually. So I don't know. I'm trying to get out of my comfort zone a little bit and try something new. So that's what we're doing here. And yeah, so that being said, I'm gonna go take a nap. <laughs> Today is Friday, it's October 6th, and it is currently three o'clock, and I've just gone back to my hotel. So today, this morning, I have been kind of out and about exploring St. Louis some. So this morning, I woke up around nine, and then went to go have brunch at a place called First Watch. I'm not sure if it's a chain or if it's local, but we don't have any of those near me if it is a chain but it was really really good i got the trifecta it came with two scrambled eggs i got two turkey sausage and a waffle and the waffle was so so good it was honestly just so so good and then after leaving first watch i then went to subterranean books which is like a cute little independent bookstore and i didn't end up getting anything but i just kind of walked around and looked to see what they had they had a lot of popular titles and some things that i had never heard of before but they were a really cute little bookshop in this really cute part of town and so what i did end up walking around for a little bit and then once i was in at the bookstore i then ended up going to forest park where i went to the st louis art museum and walked around i went to the exhibit that they were having called the culture which was like a um hip-hop like like an african-american hip-hop type exhibit it was really really cool and then i ended up sitting down for a little bit in the museum to read some of wrecked and so i'm probably actually going to finish wrecked here in the next few minutes i think i'm going to do some reading before going out again later for dinner but I was in the museum and we actually had to evacuate because something happened I'm not sure but they were just like we have to evacuate the museum so we evacuated the museum and so then at that point that's when I left because I would have stayed a little bit longer I was there for about an hour or like an hour and a half ish before that happened and so then I just went back and now I'm back at the hotel so now that I'm here I'm thinking I'll probably either take a nap or do some reading until 
dinner time i'm not sure what i'm gonna do for dinner or if i have plans to go out anymore today i don't think so i had wanted to go out <clears throat> and see the arch but i'm not sure if i'm gonna get a chance to do that while i'm here so unless i go like tomorrow morning but the wedding that i'm going to is tomorrow evening and i actually have to drive two hours to get to the venue for the wedding so i will have to leave the wedding starts at five and so i'll have to leave here probably around 2 30 3 o'clock just to make sure i can get there on time so yeah i don't know what my plans for tomorrow morning are going to be but i will keep you guys updated i'll probably do like a brunch situation kind of like i've been doing for the past couple of days and then sunday morning i will be leaving and headed back home so that's gonna be it for now and i'm probably gonna go take a nap and maybe do a little bit more reading but yes yeah, so i'll talk to you guys again later mm -hmm.